Dream, search, drive. Cars.coza. Keep your adventure alive, because when it comes to finding the right part at the right price, there's just no place like Midas for the love of cars. I'm Franco Scrabanti, driver of the GTR that will be competing in the King of the Hill in Etzimola. Just in case people don't know what Samola is, I mean, Samola must be the success story of motorsport in South Africa. I mean, a lot of people only race the hill climb. The guys who were track racers who retired, they come back just for that one event. You know, we are attracting all sorts of um, international competition now with Mika Sala coming, with um, Peter Solberg coming. And I think that's just going to grow from strength to strength. And I think these guys are going to be quite shocked as a lot of the other people have, that have come in the past to see the level of, what, uh, of how South Africans build cars. We are building the wildest, most powerful cars in the world. So we're talking about our 2016 GTR, which is not an actual GTR, it just looks like one. It's not that GTR anymore. It's a, it's a space frame car, it's built out of a 4130 chromoly. A lot of the transmission components and the engine and stuff like that will still fit in its standard uh, pickup points, but it's much lighter and it's much more rigid. And then obviously the body is a carbon fiber silhouette of a GTR, but it's not the, the steel body anymore. So we, we still got the 3.8 uh, VR motor in it, which the GTR came out with. But uh, it's got a Winber crank, it's got uh, Calford cams in it, it's got uh, the CP Gorilla rods and pistons, and uh, it's got the uh, AMS intake in it with uh, two big Gen 2 Garrett turbos on it. It's running a full MoTeC ECU system and it's still running the GR6 gearbox but it's basically just the casing of the transmission because the whole gearbox is extended to run a 3000 horsepower gear set, heavy duty gear set in it and uh, a lot of Linny components. I must say after we've been using that stuff we, we found a lot more reliability in that. For us uh, the biggest problem was the gearbox since the beginning and I think if you look all over the world you'll always see GTR guys struggling with the with the transmission and and that was our, our biggest problem in getting the, the, the gear set to last and not breaking it and the biggest problem that we have is getting over the bumps with all that horsepower at the yield climb because the car is actually lifting off the ground and then you're spinning the wheel so quickly and as soon as that car comes back onto the ground again then usually the, the weak points fail. Up until now Touchwood we haven't had serious problems with the engine although we had misfires due to weak valve springs and we had to do a honeycomb valve spring on it and after we've did that the, the engine is oh we had oil pressure issues with that as well but we've changed the pump now to a auto verdi pump so we can have solid oil pressure from from cold start up until high rpm with hot oil and the future plan is definitely to to up the horsepower and we actually been talking about it that with all this new competition coming in and the faster cars a new chassis design is definitely on the table for the future look the car is insanely wild to drive. More horsepower than you could ever want, and obviously with that comes reliability problems, but you're not going to win without the horsepower, so, it's, so the one doesn't go without the other one. But the car handles well. It's taken quite a bit of time for me to, to trust four-wheel drive and that level of aero because I'm not used to it. I'm certainly not used to four-wheel drive because I've never driven four-wheel drive cars. And it takes quite a, quite a sort of level of commitment to, to, to commit 
and also to commit to the error. But once you get used to it, it gets easier and easier, like all things. I see there's still a lot of comments about it's, it looks ridiculous and it's this and it's that. And in the beginning, I probably even thought to myself, this looks a bit extreme, but it works. I can feel it works. I've got a huge amount of confidence in it. You know, I've learned to drive with that and we're staying with it. So the, the aero package on that car was actually very last minute, but so well thought out. Um, we, we had an aero engineer that also used to work in Formula One cars and is doing a lot of world time attack stuff. Uh, he's behind uh, the Porsche that broke the, the world time attack record in Australia, Dr. Sammy Dinosis, if I'm pronouncing it right. Uh, he helped us in the beginning to develop the, the kit and the, the splitter, the rear wing, uh, was an off-the-shelf part from him and we had the diffuser that's currently still on the car that was one that I designed for our Porsche and because we had limited time back in the day we had to put that diffuser on because there was no time in manufacturing a new one or do any simulations with it and we found that it actually worked so well on the car but we were lacking in front downforce and we were pressed against time for for getting it sorted out and we couldn't design a, a different splitter and that's where the wing came about and so he did some some analysis on the wing and we stuck it on front of the car and obviously everybody was doubting it and laughing about it in the beginning and I think that first run on the Saturday afternoon when Frank already did a, a 38.5 silenced all of these people of, you know is it working or not yes it look, looks ridiculous we're starting to get a little bit used to it now but I don't think I'll get used to it ever in my life but at the end of the day if you break a record uh, record books won't say you broke the record with a wing in the front they're just going to say Scribante Racing has broken a record or won a yield climb and, and I think that's what the aim is for is, is to go there and not only show that we can do it but also it's it's done here it's done in South Africa and, and it's still it makes us proud to to be a part of it. So uh, we tested the GTR on a, a, a non-prep surface with, with quite old tyres on and uh, we've seen that we can do 0 to 100 in 2.2 seconds. which I think is, is very promising when we go down to the yield climb. I'm sure we're going to get it a little bit down from there. And then we're doing a quarter mile speed on the draggy of a 9.3, which is also not a high boost uh, uh, run yet, but it's very promising to look at these type of figures and you look what drag cars do that's purposely built with big slicks and made suspensions made to squat and stuff like that. This is a, a purpose built yield climb, it's not a drag car. And you look at figures like that, that's quite impressive for us to know that the car can reach that speed so quickly but also can brake and turn uh, which is also a big part of, of things in the type of motorsport that we, that we do. The sheriff is in town. What can Franco Scribante do up this hill? International superstar Peter Solberg currently leads the modified saloon cars. And Peter Solberg, worst he can do is third. I wonder what tyres he's gone out with. I think the wets, I've got to believe the wets. 233, that is super fast. Oh, that's commitment. Wow! <laughs> <laughs> wow, sub 40. <laughs> it's all down to record 
roots. This is going to be one unbelievable 40 seconds. Well, he'll be hoping it's in the 39s. 39, 877, the time to beat. One at the trap. Oh, he's made oh, a mistake. Wide on exit of three. This couldn't be closer right now between the oh, two skylines. He's given it everything. Oh, he's lost it. Second. Oh, oh my word. <laughs> oh, no. What a battle! Franco Scribante comes from behind to take top honors in the modified salute car shootout. Unbelievable! Franco Scribante, record roots, Peter Solberg, king of the hill for modified saloons. Cars.coza. Not only is Cars.coza the best place to find your dream car, but it's also the easiest place to sell your current car. Check out the sell car section on our main website. Simply list your car's details and all of our dealers will take bids on your car. You just choose the highest price. Boom, your car's gone. On to your next one. Right, thanks very much for watching the video. Okay, uh, I think I'm done. Yeah, I'm finished now. Keep your adventure alive, because when it comes to finding the right part at the right price, there's just no place like Midas for the love of cars.